Well, after a few days break here, or two days off, sorry, I uh, haven't had a couple uploads up out in a couple days. Uh, we're back to it, going to do some milling tonight. Um, try to do a little a few different things with the camera, see how that works out. We've got the log we skinned in the last video sitting on the mill, ready to go. We have uh, I've got another one behind it ready to go. Well, close to ready. That bark was being a real bastard to get off. Um, anyway, get a little smarter about it. The tractor's already plugged in and charging up. You know, and the uh, I had a few comments on replace the batteries. They're, the batteries are pretty new. It's just this thing's uh, cold-hearted, just the way it goes. So anyway, we're going to get to it. I'm going to try to fight past the distractions here. I've got a gaggle of children playing in the driveway. I'm one of those people, if I'm into what I'm doing, Oh, I have a real tough time with distractions. It's like I see a squirrel and I'm off to the races. So, anyway, stay tuned, guys. I'll catch you on the other side of it. Well, this thing is just the way we left it this weekend. So, we got to get our measurements, get this thing centered, set up for the taper and all that. Then we can fire up the mill. And hopefully, I want to try to get a 10 by 10 out of this for a top plate. I'm looking through, I got uh, three larger logs over there than this one. But one of them has enough of a, has some funky shit going on in it. I really, I don't think I'm going to get a good 10 by 10 out of it. So I'm going to try on this one. I may be a little shy with this taper on this. So we're going to, we're going to mill this one a little bit differently than uh, I have with the other ones. We'll still lay it out and see what we can get, but uh, see what happens here. Looking forward to getting this shop up and having some time to do some modifications to this mill. I've got a lot of ideas. Make this thing a lot easier to work with. It's not that it's really hard to work with, there's just a few things I think I could do to make it a little easier to use. Right on the money. Alright, like I said, I'm not going to be able to get exactly what I want out of this, meaning exactly boxed. Um, I just plain don't have enough room. So what I'm going to try to do, I'm going to try to get it as best as I can. And I know I'm making... Uh, I know I'm kind of settling here for what we've been normally doing. I usually, I preach box the heartwood, box it, but uh, I'm running low on larger logs. I got to get what I can get out of them. This is going to be a plate. Uh, we'll see guys, we'll see how it works out. If it doesn't work out, I've got to go find another larger tree and do it that way. So this is just kind of a... Uh, kind of one of those see how it goes type things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shave off. I'm not even going to really bother laying this out. I mean I kind of have an idea where I have to go here if I have to turn it into an 8x8. But where that heartwood, that heartwood's down here at the end of my tape measure. Even getting an 8x8 uh, with no weighing out of this, if I were to try to box this perfectly, I'd have a hell of a time getting it. So. I'm going to start the first cut right up here somewhere, real close. It's going to be in the sapwood. We're going to start it up here and we're going to see what we can get out of this. Um, this is not ideal for me guys, and this is not ideal for you, but I'm trying to make do with what I have so to save some time and money and energy and all that good stuff. So let's see.
Well, guys, we were going to get another log on the mill, but it appears that the old, uh, the poor old Alice Chalmers is a little light on hydraulic fluid. Well, if you guys noticed when I was trying to pick that 10x10 10 10 off of there, it was struggling. You know what I mean? The action was real slow. As soon as I put the uh, the front end loader down on the main rams, drew those back, it moved real fast. So I keep a five gallon pail of hydraulic fluid on this farm. So <laughs> we're never without that. But uh, we'll throw that in there tomorrow night. Hopefully, we'll get another log on the mill. We'll keep going. Uh, I did get a 10 by 10 out of that. It's not as good as I like them, but it will work for what I need. So three more 10 by 10s, and that's the last of the uh, 10 by 10 stock. And then pretty quick here, I'm going to have to go back to the woods and pick up some more logs that I have down, get those loaded, get them home, because we need wall posts and we need rafters yet. But also, I uh, sold some cattle off and uh, got the money now for... The roof for this thing, fortunately, so probably uh, this week or next week I'm going to be buying all the sheet metal for this roof. And then as we move across, um, I'm going to try to stay disciplined and cut through all the framing members for that first. I'm going to try. I can't promise you anything. If you guys notice how I work, I jump around a lot. And that's too easy to do when you're working like I am on this. Like I said before... If I had all my logs here at once, if I could have afforded to buy them all at once, I would have. And then I would have cut everything at once, cut all the joints at once, threw it all together at once, and we probably would have been done by now. But, you know, it's all part of the process. I don't mind this long process. It's drawn out. I said the first part of this frame was stood up. Uh, the first couple bents I put up last November. So we're a year into standing this thing if you guys are wondering how long it takes in between a job and all that but uh, like I said all summer long I didn't get a chance couldn't work on it really much at all this summer maybe a couple times but you know it is what it is it's when you uh, when you're into a lot of different things it's gonna take some time I know a lot of you guys understand because I see in the comments that a lot of you guys understand and you you know how it is so I know the series is getting kind of drawn out. I know a lot of you don't mind that either. But every video, every time we post, I mean, I've got the camera running every time I'm out here working. So I'm sharing, you guys are sharing the total process of this building project with me right now. And it's pretty cool. It's, it's actually, it really helps keep you motivated. really helps keep you going because I know there's a lot of you that are looking forward to seeing these come out. And it makes me want to put more of it out there so anyway I'm still having a lot of fun it's it's a little cold out here it's about 25 out here tonight um that just tells me winter's coming and also tells me I'm nowhere near as being ready for it but that's all right well uh we always make do you know what I mean there's uh I've still got firewood to cut and split believe it or not usually I have that done in the spring but not this year so we have a ton of dead elm out behind us that's standing dry so that won't be a big deal we'll I'll fire up the snowmobile, the sled behind it, and we'll pull firewood home all winter if we have to. Plus, I got a lot of pine here, and then I've got four or five cord of good split hardwood that I have set aside for really cold months. We're talking January and February, the nastiest months of the year up here. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I will catch you on the next one. Let me know what you think of uh, some of the new camera work. I haven't edited this yet, so I'm not sure if it even worked out. So we'll see what happens. So I'll catch you guys on the next one.